Good day everybody and welcome back to another day of Operation Oregon. This autumn and winter I've been training really well, I've gotten both faster and stronger and two weeks ago I opened my season with a 10.55 in the 100. This past weekend I ran a season best of 6.81 in the 60 and then a new personal best of 21.08 indoors in the 200. Now the plan is to run one more meet in Oslo before the national championships next weekend. But then I got COVID. So I was hoping I could avoid this until at least uh, right after the indoor season. Sadly, you can't just pick and choose with these things. So I ran in Steinschach on Sunday, flew straight home, headed to training for a little warm-up on Monday. On Tuesday, I woke up, did a negative self-test, then someone else in my group tested positive. I did another test later that day, still negative, and I headed to training to do some block starts, some flying runs, and some easy technical 60 meters. After I was feeling a little bit of an itch in my throat, but just barely, but I was a little paranoid so I ordered a PCR test on Wednesday. Wednesday morning I headed to training and did a little bit of a maintenance weight training session. Pretty easy and I wasn't feeling too bad but my sixth sense was telling me that something's wrong. So I headed to do a test and uh, the waiting for the results started. So my plan was to travel to Oslo on Thursday to do some block starts with some guys over there. And the results were taking a little bit longer than usual so I postponed the trip until Friday and I would travel right before the Saturday meet. But in the end, as I was suspecting, the test showed up positive. And now, I've had to self-isolate for several days here in my room. The first three days after the positive test, I pretty much did nothing in terms of training. Even if the symptoms weren't that bad, I was afraid I would make them worse. But after just a sore throat, it didn't seem to get any worse. So on day four, I headed out to do some jump rope and some core to see how I was feeling. It's five days since the test positive and uh, I've just been relaxing since and today I'm actually not feeling too bad so hopefully I'll get in shape for the nationals next weekend. On day five I did a quick little 15 minute session again and things were not feeling that bad. Now, when I got a positive test, I could have hanged my head down and got really mad, but it could have been so much worse. Those two jump rope sessions I had felt quite normal, and to be honest, I'm hoping that these couple of easy days might have given me a little bit of surplus 
energy and a little bit of extra recovery that I might have needed. I'm hoping, but <laughs> we'll see. Yes, I did get a sore throat and a minor cold. Yes, I lost my final meet before the indoor national championships and a good chance to run under 21 seconds. Yes, I've had to take five days almost completely off training just one week out from nationals, but at least I'm not injured. At least I didn't get any fever and at least I did not get any problems with my lungs that I know of yet at least. And if I had gotten infected just four days later, I would have been in isolation until the day of the national championships, so that's how lucky I got. So let's look on the bright side. Now I got my positive test six days ago at two o'clock, so according to the rules and regulations, since I haven't had any fever for the last 24 hours, I'm going out of isolation in two minutes. So I'm gonna head out and later today I'm going to do some block starts, see how the legs are feeling. So it's four days till national champs and my first time sprinting in a week post COVID. So let's have a look how it goes. Okay guys, that really wasn't that bad. My coach was afraid I was gonna walk in like a total zombie. He was happy with how it was looking. My legs aren't feeling that great. Kind of sluggish after a week of no sprinting, but finally back in the spikes after a week. Things could have been much worse. So looking forward to the national championships in just three days now. I'll hopefully feel pretty much back to normal tomorrow and hopefully I'll feel amazing on Saturday when the national champ starts. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you're staying healthy guys and big big extra thank you to the channel members who support me a little bit extra on this journey and I'll catch you guys somewhere else on Operation Oregon. Bye.